some people say that they can actually feel creepy crawlies trying to get right out of their skin. Now the CDC doesn't buy it, but a local doctor and many patients say it's very real. Our Heather Moore has the stray story tonight. It will make you crazy because you can't that's all you can think about. Stacy Hillman and her husband Jeff say 2011 was the year from hell. I was suicidal. Last March, Stacy started feeling pinpricks on her skin. A few weeks later, lesions covered her entire body. And it felt like there was some type of bug, thousands of bugs crawling all over my face. They spent thousands of dollars going from doctor to doctor trying to get help. They basically would look at her like she was crazy. Stacy shared that skin crawling sensation with thousands of people all over the country. Its common name is Morgellon syndrome, which the CDC doesn't recognize as legit. Critics say it's a mental issue. Pray you don't ever have it for a day or a week and then talk to me and tell me if it's all in your head. After months, the Hillmans finally found relief in Dr. Omar Amin in Scottsdale. He's a parasitologist, but since so many sought his help thinking they were infected by bugs, he wanted answers. I'm a hardcore, uh, old-fashioned scientist. Dr. Amin believes the problem actually comes down to dental material that's not compatible with the body's immune system. The exposure to those toxins causes nerve damage, which makes it feel like the skin is crawling. The nerve cells will misfire. You have no normal nerve impulse anymore, and that misfiring will cause the sensations of movement and, 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 and pinkers. The body's lymphatic system tries to eliminate those toxins through the skin, which breaks out in sores and invites other biological organisms to nest, like spores which grow long-stemmed fungus. The concept is new to science and easy to dismiss, but Dr. Amin warns thousands are at risk. Everybody who has dental work, and that's just about everybody that lives in this culture of ours, is, is, is an open game. He saved my life. I mean, he really did. Dr. Amin calls the disorder NCS for neurocutaneous syndrome. He sees patients from all over the world. The Hillmans came here from Los Angeles. Now, Stacy is taking some homeopathic remedies, but her dentist has already started replacing her fillings with more compatible material based on her own individual blood tests. If you'd like more information, you can head to our website at CBS5AZ.com. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Heather Moore, CBS 5 News.